Ah, a lot of books. Uh, even uh, The Prince by Mac, uh, uh, Machiavelli. Yeah. Strategy. I think that's kind of till this day, uh, uh, what really inspired me, a book that inspired me is, uh, oh man, Frederick Heinrichs. What was the book? Road to Serfdom. And I know that's kind of been taken the other way, that book or something recent times, but that book inspired me. And I said, I want to be in manufacturing or have a service that I can sell to a lot of people. I said, <laughs> so after reading Road to Serfdom. So that got me on the, on my think, on the way of thinking, you know, and of course the word of God, the main thing, but Proverbs, I tell people all the time, read Proverbs. <laughs> well, you know, uh, <clears throat> read the word. Yeah, it's inspirational. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, these are all great resources. I, I haven't heard of the Road to Surf. I'll have to check that one out. Yeah, um, I, I love asking that question for selfish reasons because it helps me to always discover new resources as well, but our audience also loves it for sure. Um, Robert, is there anything I didn't ask during this interview that you think could be helpful for our audience? I, I would be, <clears throat> I would add this. I would say, whatever you're doing, your goal, you can and will reach it if when 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 you have an idea and you're excited about it. I mean, you're ecstatic about it, and it's something that you want or, or you want or you would like. That you're just one person out of a million. If you would love to have it, as special as we think we are, we're not all that special. We can't tell the squirrels apart, but they're all different, just like us. But if you would like to have it, and it's a lot of other people that would like to have it, if you just get 2% of the market, you're a multimillionaire. True. So the when, keep that energy and know as you go forward in seeking it out and bringing it to market, whatever it may be, business, service, you're going to have setbacks. So it's who can endure past the setbacks and remain, and that energy is going to wane. You're not going to be as excited after so many setbacks. But the initial vision, you will achieve it if you see it all the way through. And I think that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing to remember. Thank you. That's inspirational. You you talked about how you can, if you have a goal, if you have passion, energy, excitement, drive behind yourself to reach that goal. You can reach it. I love that visualization of reaching your goal as a, you know, goals, amazing goals don't fall in your lap. You've got to reach for them, right? It takes effort. It takes passion. It takes drive. But with that, you can find success through it. You've been a great example of that for sure with, with your business and the way you live your life too. So thanks again for taking the time to, to be on the show with us. I I know I'm I'm sure our audience is going to love this interview. I will say for our listeners, please go to crownqualityproducts.com. It'll be in the show notes as well, that URL to learn more about Robert's business and his line of products and try these brushes out. You, you got to take my word on it as, as a former purchaser of very cheap brushes. You can't beat the quality of these and it makes a difference in a product you use every single day in your life. And be sure to check out also our, our website, the harvestgrowthpodcast.com to see other episodes we've recorded. And if you like this episode and want to learn more about how you can profitably grow your consumer product business, please subscribe to our show and leave us a review at iTunes or Google Play. Thanks again, Robert. Oh, thanks for having me, John.